Hello and welcome to another video. Today you find me at Taizong Huotezhan or Taizong Railway Station, and I'm embarking on a journey to Kaohsiung today. My train today is train 113 or 113, bound for Pingdong. This train is leaving in a couple of minutes, so without further ado, let's head through the fare gates and head to the platforms. Since my train is just arriving, I think it's time we take a look at our route for today. Our journey today would see us head south, stopping at 9 intermediate stops before arriving in Kaohsiung at around 1pm. Our train today will hit a top speed of 130 km per hour for most of the route. So here is my train for today. My train today is comprised of this E1000 series electric push-pull train. These trains were built in 1996. The engines were built by a joint effort from the Union Carriage and Wagon Company as well as GEC Alstom, now just known as Alstom. The carriages were built by Hyundai Precision and Industries, now just known as Hyundai Mobis. So with a little bit of our train's history out of the way, let's get right on board. So here we are on board. There is only standard class on this train, and it's laid out in a 2 plus 2 configuration consisting almost exclusively of airline style seats. Now my seat today is unfortunately an aisle seat. This is because I booked my ticket way too late, about 30 to 40 minutes before actually getting on board. So as we speed through the suburbs of Taizong, I think it's time we take a look around our seat. Now first things first, the legroom is absolutely fantastic, with there even being a legrest offered in standard class. There is also a seat back pocket. The only problem with this seat so far is that there is no fold down table. Now this can be problematic on longer journeys like this one. Down here by the armrest, you can find the controls for the seat's recline. Lastly, these seats are pretty comfortable, with an adequate amount of padding throughout the seat. Overall, not a bad seat, although I would love it if the seat did have a fold down table. It just makes it easier to eat or work on board.
After Zhanghua, the scenery gets a lot more rural, and in my opinion, this is where the highlight of the journey starts. So let's check out this train. Here is a better look at Standard Class. Standard Class is comprised of almost exclusively airline style seats in a 2 plus 2 configuration. The only other type of seat on board is an accessible seat, which is found in select cars. Let's take a quick look at the lavatories located on board. Alright, so we are now in the bathroom. It's pretty dated. So, first off, Let's see if the sink works because it's usually hit or miss on the Zhejiang Express. It's always come on. Up oh, there we go. So the sink does work. There's soap. There we go. As you see before, there's a locking mechanism. There. Uh, uh, urinal and the bathroom, like a toilet right there. Uh, aside from everything looking a little, uh, a little bit gloomy as, I mean, there's really not much color in here aside from gray and black, which is like tiled on the floor. Aside from that though, the bathroom is pretty clean. And it also seems like here is a baby changing table. Here is a shower, which I have not seen before on a train in Taiwan before, so that's pretty cool. But overall, pretty good bathroom, although the date it's quite dated and it the look it could look better. It looks kind of dark and gloomy in here. Aside from that, it's pretty good. So here we are on one of the more unique cars on board. This car used to be a dining car but has since been converted into a family, accessible, and bike storage car, with seats oddly being laid out in a 2 plus 1 configuration. The seats here in my opinion are arguably much better, with tons of more legroom and even a fold down table provided. Along with that, the 2 plus 1 configuration allows you to have more privacy. Although I do kind of wish TRA would bring back the dining car service, I'm always a fan of dining cars on board trains. After stopping at Jia Yi, I managed to get myself a window seat for the rest of the trip.
please fly the gap. So as this journey comes to a close, what did I think about this trip? In my opinion, this trip was absolutely wonderful. I had a great time on board. The scenery was spectacular, the seats were just comfortable enough, and while the bathrooms did look a bit dreary and the seats were missing fold down tables, I can overall recommend this experience. In my opinion, the only thing holding this trip back is the Taiwan High Speed Rail. Taiwan High Speed Rail can whisk you between Taichung and Kaohsiung in under an hour, while the Zhejiang Hao or Zhejiang Limited Express takes about three. Along with that, the Taiwan High Speed Rail trains are much more modern than the 26-year-old Zhejiang Limited Express trains. So all in all, how much did I pay for this trip? Well, this trip costed 469 Taiwan dollar, which is very cheap considering this was a three hour journey. So all in all, I would recommend this trip. However, if time is of the essence, I would highly suggest you take Taiwan High Speed Rail instead.